Let's turn to NBC senior Washington correspondent Hallie Jackson. Hallie, good morning. It's always, you know, I'm always, I kind of pause before we say something is so make or break or do or die. Okay. This is certainly a moment uh, for the president. It's unscripted. He's going to face questions. Is he going to face, you know, 15 versions of the same question? Or do you expect <laughs> this news conference to be substantive and, and really, I guess, put him to the test? Listen, the Biden campaign and my conversations with folks on that side think that this is a moment for the president to show some substance, for him to flex his foreign policy muscle, muscle and show some of that contrast that he's been trying to draw with former President Trump. But it is so clear, Savannah, that the focus for, I think for a lot of people who will be watching this is less on foreign policy and more on his fitness for office for the reasons that you described, right? This is a high-profile, unscripted, live, lengthy moment for President Biden. The last time that he had a high-profile, unscripted, live, lengthy moment was that debate performance two weeks ago that has put him in the political crisis he faces now. Here's something to watch for, too, over the next 24 hours. It is possible that the floodgates could open after today. Look at the way that top Democrats have basically temporarily put a little bit more time on the clock just to let President Biden get through this NATO summit. You heard that from the former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi just yesterday, essentially saying, all right, let him finish with world leaders. If you have concerns, Democrats, don't put it out there publicly just yet. Wait until he gets through this key moment on the international stage and then deal with the domestic politics, which makes tomorrow, this weekend, super important, Savannah. Well, it's just so interesting to see some of these top Democrats who aren't outright calling for him to step down, right. but then they're saying, well, let's wait and see what he decides. He decided. He was not ambiguous about it at all. He said, I'm in it. I'm staying in. And then you have some of these Democratic elected officials acting like they didn't hear that and they're waiting for a decision. And that is why we, you know, you do a lot of tea leaf reading when you cover politics, Savannah. You know this. And that is what you're looking at when you hear something like that from House, uh, former House Speaker Pelosi and others. Listen, there's a big spectrum between he should get out of the race and he should absolutely stay in. There's a lot of gray area between those two ends. And there's a lot of Democrats who are living in that gray area right now, looking to see moments like this news conference tonight. Now, listen, the Biden campaign is trying to stem the tide to the degree that they can. You've got a couple of top aides headed to talk to Senate Democrats later on today, midday. I am told by a senior advisor that their argument is going to be, listen, here's our path. Here's our plan. We don't think that the data shows that the president is losing significant support from voters. They're also trying to make the argument that it's time to refocus, essentially, on former President Trump ahead of the Republican convention next week. But you know as well as I do that folks on Capitol Hill are worried about those key down-ballot races, those House and Senate races, with concern that President Biden could be a negative drag on the ticket and hurt Democrats in some of those safe blue states now, especially among independents. Well, that, then that obviously gets them quite focused, those elected officials, when it starts affecting their That's race. Right. But let's talk about the polls, because Peter just showed, for example, another That's one right. of these national polls that, again, shows mm -hmm. a neck and neck race. But that's not how we decide our elections in this country. We do it state by state. The battleground right. states are, are what are, are important here. And what are they showing? What are those polls sh showing? Our, our, our first of many reminders this campaign season, Savannah, that it's the battleground states that are going to matter as it relates to this election. And the latest polling from those battlegrounds post-debate shows that it is former President Trump who has the edge, albeit narrowly inside the margin of error in most cases, in five of seven of those key battlegrounds. He's actually outside the margin of error in the key state of Pennsylvania there. Now, listen, the, the Biden campaign has argued they have a lot of grassroots support. They in their internal data suggests that they are not seeing, you know, a lot of movement that is the campaign as the election actually gets closer. People will crystallize their focus. They'll understand that this really is Joe Biden versus Donald Trump and will make the decision that they want to make. But you got to watch what's happening on the fundraising front as well. NBC News is reporting this morning, according to four sources close to the reelection effort, that there has been a major hit on fundraising. The campaign is pushing back on that, saying that's not accurate. They believe that they have grassroots support. This whole thing, Savannah, gets at the argument President Biden has been making, that it's elites versus the voters. The question is, is that actually accurate? Is that correct? And is that where this race is going? All right. Lots to discuss, Hallie. Thank you so much. Should mention NBC News will have special coverage of today's news conference. And a programming note, on Monday, Lester Holt scheduled to sit down with President Biden for an exclusive interview. And you can watch it starting Monday on NBC Nightly News. And then the complete conversation will air that same night, a primetime special, 9 o'clock Eastern. We will be with you before our coverage of the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee here on NBC. And, of course, streaming on NBC. NBC News Now. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day.
or click the link right here.